Hi, this is Thunder Yi from BorderWork.com and today we'll be doing the full review of the Nokia E6. Um, just a, a note, the written review was uh, done by Richard White, our UK correspondent for BorderWork. So uh, he will have a slightly different take on it, but it'll be interesting to see how that pairs up with our review. Um, so let's just take a quick look at the device itself. The E6 is a candy bar. Um, smartphone from Nokia. Uh, it does have a portrait QWERTY keyboard similar to what you find with a Blackberry. It does come with a 2.46 inch uh, touchscreen. And you do see some physical buttons here. There is an answer and end button. You do have buttons for your home, your calendar, your uh, address book as well as your mail. Of course you do have a directional pad here. In the front of the device you do have a front facing camera which is VGA. On the sides here, you do have your slot for your micro USB for data transfer only. Um, and at the bottom, you do have your port for your charger. On the right hand side, you do have your action button, you do have your volume keys, and of course your lock key. Top of the device, power button, your slot for your SD card, which comes with 8GB SD card, expandable to 32GB. Uh, you do have your 3.5mm jack. And at the back, there's an 8 megapixel camera with a dual uh, flash. So let's go ahead and power the device on. Now this is running uh, the uh, latest update of Symbian, uh, which is called Anna, we've been waiting for, which uh, expands the Symbian experience and gives it a more uh, traditional modern day smartphone feel. So you do have four home screens, which are customizable. You do have larger icons as you can see there. And you notice while using this device that it's easy to jump in and out of things and uh, you, uh, either things like apps, emails, as well as your settings with uh, the Anna update and also does a lot with the browser to render things uh, much more fluidly. Now setup process of course is quite easy with Nokia. You pop in your SIM card and uh, you basically, be, if you have an OV account you can sign into your OV account. If not you can just go ahead and start using the phone. This device is a GSM device. Uh, it also is a world CDMA device and it also supports HSPA+. I'm a HSPA, sorry, so basically you can use it on 4G networks. You can see I'm using AT&T AT right now, but uh, you can also use it on T-Mobile. You just have to call your uh, your uh, customer service uh, reps to set it up properly for each device. Now, so what's different here with um, the E6 and Anna? First of all, like I mentioned, you do have the four home screens and the easy access icons. So for instance, I do have icons here for my camera. I have icons for search. You do have the Nokia social hub, which is basically this right here, which allows you to sync it to your different social media networks like Facebook and Twitter. And also Nokia is well known for um, integrating your email quite uh, effectively and responsibly. Now, since the E6 is a business uh, styled uh, smartphone, the uh, you can actually connect to almost any email type uh, you have there, be it uh, Gmail like I have here, I have my Hotmail or um, even your your company email servers. You also, also you will note that Nokia has the communicator uh, feature, which is uh, very nice for business customers where companies can have their own IM, um, um, uh, IM feature within the uh, within their home home server, which you can actually use off your Nokia device, which is pretty cool. You also do have a file manager here, so you can actually go through and manage your file system within your phone, as well as backup and restore uh, things. Uh, looking at, uh, let's go in and jump into the browser here. See, it's, it's rendering uh, the website. We can scroll through. And again, the touch functionality does help a lot in scrolling around, moving, and actually just using uh, the device. Of course, you can still use the D pad if you want to, if you want to keep traditional looks. You can see it renders everything. It also does render flash, so you can actually play YouTube videos off the browser. So it's something that's pretty nice that uh, has been added to this. Uh, let's go ahead. You also have full music playback. So, for instance, uh, you can uh, transfer songs into your to your device. You just all you have to do is just plug it in and drag and drop the folders in. You can actually find that, and you can you have full music controls off the touch screen. So I can start playing this song here. This is actually playing off my Bluetooth headset. Sorry, I have that paired. Or you can actually skip songs and go through. And uh, you have you have the ability, of course, to customize your home screen and put different things on the home screen, be it you know icons or email, or in this case, I have Reuters here, things like that. So you can do that. You can see I have to pause that there. 
So it's uh, like I said, it's a it's a very in and out interface feel you, uh, with the E6, where which allows you as a business user to basically do what you need to do, be in and out and be done with. Uh, you do have, of course, if you go into the menu feature, you still have your traditional Nokia settings, and of course, see those icons there uh, that pop up shows those are the active apps. So you do still have your full multitasking uh, abilities. Um, you have your settings, your full office suite here that allows you. You have your calculator, communicator, Adobe, Quick Office, all everything you need for your whole business office setup. You do you, you even have F Secure, which is basically an FTP server, so allows you to transfer information from your FTP server to uh, your device. So again, this is a very business-centric phone, so it has all those business features that you need. Um, you jump into applications here. We do have a photo editor, a video editor, so you can edit your video. And of course, you can download more apps in, in here, and you also have a, a software update function. So let's uh, jump in and take a look at the camera, and then we'll look at some, some videos recorded off the camera. So within the camera app here, you can see you can uh, if I just pull this up a little bit so you guys can take a back a better look uh, you can of course zoom in and zoom out off the touch screen uh, you do have the ability to turn on and off your flash you into the options here allows you to switch to the front-facing camera which you can take uh, stills from just seeing the quality of the front-facing camera there if you can see us you can switch out of that and go back you actually go in this is going to the settings here for a second You can switch, like I mentioned, you switch out of that, you go into video mode and actually record off the front facing camera as well as the rear facing camera, which of course, using the rear camera, you're recording at 720p and it says the HD for you. And um, let's just go ahead and see how the quality of the camera looks. Hi, uh, this is Dundee from borderwork.com. I'm recording off the uh Nokia E6. I'm using the 8 megapixel camera recording at 720p. You can see I'm wearing headphones. I'm testing out some headphones from Nokia. But uh, we'll go ahead and record at 720p and see how it looks. So let's uh, take a walk down. So we're about 20 seconds in. You can see how the sun comes through there. Uh, I paused that for a second just to see how the pause function works. And uh, you can see just with the lighting, it, it pops up pretty bright. Now, I was talking while I was paused, so my bad. Um, this is the same camera you find in the E7, um, and it's, it's a pretty good camera. It records very well in high definition, which you're watching with this review. So we'll probably do about a full minute, and then we'll head back to review and check out some more steals uh, from the uh, Nokia E6. Uh, quality there. Looking at some of the quick action buttons here, of course, you do have your home button which takes you either into home or to your uh, menu space. The email button takes you straight to your email. That takes you straight to contacts. And of course, this takes you straight to your calendar. So you do have that option. Of course, you can pick a date out. You can tap to create. And of course, you just have to put it whatever you need in there. So those buttons work very well and very efficiently. The keyboard itself, I actually like the space in the keyboard. I'm still not a fan of the of these kind of keyboards, but it's well spaced out for me, so I can actually use them well. And I think most people who like these kind of keyboards will definitely enjoy them. So um, I have no complaints about the keyboard in general. Uh, I like the way the, the phone feels. The battery life is impeccable, um, you know, especially if you come in from an Android-based iOS, so any of those kind of smartphones that usually die within a day. I mean, this will last you like three days in with constant use. I, I mean, just going by how much time I've used the, the device, I've gone at least two full days before I've actually needed to charge the device. So that's something that, you know, hopefully, you know, carries on as Nokia moves to uh, uh, Windows Phone 7. Uh, again, no, as met, we probably you all probably know now, Nokia says there will be no more Symbian devices in the US, so they're stopping their Symbian process here. So this is definitely a very nice and unique uh, Symbian device to pick up, especially if you're on the go, uh, you're in business, and you want something that is not too distracting, that allows you to actually do your work, check your email, be very effective and also uh, have a very reliable smartphone that won't die on you 
that also takes you know great pictures the camera is very very good uh, as you can see with the quality there so if you guys have um, any questions any comments about the uh, Nokia E7 um, don't don't uh, hesitate to just let us know on the YouTube page as well as uh, on the written review by uh, Richard White um, also uh, don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on YouTube Facebook and Twitter it's all border work with two O's so this is Thunder E from border work saying thank you and uh, always enjoy entertainment